Hi everybody, it's James here from I'm Off 3D, the powerful little app that lets you create your own 3D street art in minutes. First of all, I'd like to thank all the users that have currently bought I'm Off 3D. It's available in iTunes, it's only $9.99, and it's for iPad and iPhone. It really is an awesome, super app to create 3D illusions or 3D street art like the pros. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, how do I make my iMorph 3D result into a high resolution image? All you need is Photoshop and I'm about to show you how. Let's do this. First of all, let's take our iMorph 3D result, take it into Photoshop, and as you can see, it is very small. It's only 12 centimeters at 72 dpi. This is the result that iMorph 3D would give you. This would be for if you needed to chalk the art and you didn't need all the detail, just the structure of the the anamorphic 3D illusion. If you wanted it to be bigger or have a higher resolution, what we'd need to do is take the original shot. So this is now the original shot that we took through iMorph 3D to get this result, okay? First thing we're gonna do is go to our original shot, which is a higher resolution, and do exactly the same as we did with I'm off 3D, but we're going to do it in Photoshop. So select this marquee select tool, the straight lines, not the lasso, the polygon lasso tool, and mark out your edges just like you did in the first step of the process in I'm off 3D. We're pretty much doing the same process as we did with I'm off 3D, but through Photoshop. Now, as you can see, I have the full visual canvas selected like I did in iMorph 3D from my original shot, which is which is a higher resolution. This is the shot you would have taken into iMorph 3D and distorted to get your result. So we're going to copy that, Command C, Control C for a PC. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make this iMorph 3D result, which is a lot smaller than we want it, and I'm going to make it 20 centimeters wide and at 200 dpi. This will give me a half decent size, okay? So as you can see, it's a lot bigger in size. The pixels are blown, but it still gives you a fair amount of detail. So what we're gonna do now is paste what we've just copied from our original shot that we selected, that we put through iMorph 3D. Okay, so we've pasted our original shot that or original selection from our higher resolution image that we put through iMorph 3D and we've pasted it onto our iMorph 3D result that we've now made bigger. At this point I like to turn off the iMorph 3D result. You can turn that layer off because we're going to be working with the better resolution layer and all we've got to do is make it to the shape that iMorph 3D has given you, which is this Photoshop size, right? It has got all the structure that you need once this is done. So all we're gonna do is press, press Command T, which brings you to your Transform box. It's Control T for if you're working on a PC. And we'll just drag this down into the bottom left-hand corner, and then take the right-hand corner of your actual image, your your layer that you have now put in transform mode and drag it to the top right hand corner. Staying in this mode, we'll just reduce our zoom so we can actually work with what we need to do because we need to drag each of these nodes out like we did with iMorph 3D. We're just doing it in Photoshop with a higher resolution image to the result that iMorph 3D has given you because it's calculated what the distortion should be. So we press Command T and hold it, Control T for people working on PCs. And we Command T, hold the command down and drag out your node until you hit the corner of your Photoshop canvas. Go to the right hand side and do exactly the same. And just like in iMore 3D, you'll see these things, these nodes and the actual art start moving around. With the nodes now out of view, I just press Command-0 or Control-0 to view the full selection or my full working document so that I can see all my nodes and just keep dragging until they are square, 
with the canvas or the iMorph 3D result that we've just made bigger. It really is that simple. So now that you have this, you just press enter and what you have is your iMorph 3D result at a higher resolution that you can print to get better resolution and better detail if you're chalking a high detailed piece or if you need to actually physically print your installation, your 3D installation. As you can see, we've got a lot more detail in that top layer. And that's all there is to it, guys.